Hello, and welcome to WSTC News. I'm Jacob Clark. And I'm Caden Ryan. The student-operated newscast is brought to you by the Belmont Harrison Career Center in St. Clairsville High School. First up today, here's an update regarding the travel ban that has been put in place by President Trump. It temporarily banned travel from certain countries and, of course, the refugee program. It has been back and forth in court. Some say it is about safety. Others say that it is unconstitutional. Over the weekend, a judge put it on hold, but both sides are due back in court today. If the ban is allowed, one group that will be barred indefinitely is Syrian refugees. President Trump recently imposed a 90-day travel ban from seven Middle Eastern Muslim-majority countries and a 120-day stop to the country's refugee program. This could close the border to all refugees. The ban currently doesn't have an end date. Rural commuters in Philadelphia are forcing delays and some might be forced to ride buses after cracks were found in two rail cars. The Southern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority took cars out for inspection after a crack was found on the main load carrying beam on a market Frankfurt line car during regularly scheduled vehicle overhaul work. SPECTA says customers may experience delays in crowded conditions Monday along the rail line during peak hours. Supplemental bus service is available. On February 2nd, almost 200 years ago, the very first Groundhog Day was held in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Most other countries celebrate this national holiday, waiting to see an early spring. Here's WSDC reporter Kyle Roscoe with the story. So, do you know why or how Groundhog Day started? Why don't we go ask students and staff what they think. Why is Groundhog Day celebrated? go with A, the end of groundhog hibernation. Money. Money. B. To have an early spring, long winter night, and Bill Murray. Groundhog Day is celebrated by countries around the world to see if winter has another six weeks or if there may be an early spring. How did Groundhog Day start? Uh, B, a Celtic festival. The short story. Short story. I think it was a uh, Celtic festival started by Bill Murray in about 1500s. Groundhog Day started because of a religious holiday called Candlemas. It is a big weather predicting holiday where if it was sunny enough to cast shadows, winter wasn't over. So who first started the Groundhog Day celebration? C, Pierre Shadow. B is a C. C. Was it B? Uh, Bill Murray's great great grandfather, Climber Freeze. Climber Freeze started the Groundhog Day celebration because he was so interested by the local groundhog folklore. He then coined Punxsutawney, the home of the winter predicting groundhog. Unfortunately, this year, Punxsutawney Phil saw his shadow. You know what that means six more weeks of winter. Reporting for WSCC News, I'm Kyle Roscoe. Don't change that dial. Stay tuned for more WSCC News. There's a St. C. Singers update, College Credit Plus, and WSTC Sports. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. Let's carry on and take advantage of the opportunities offered at the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers and learn a trade while earning your high school diploma at the same time. Check out interesting and challenging programs right now. Business, skilled trades, technical, mechanical, or personal services. You'll find Belmont and Harrison Career Center's facilities and programs truly amazing. See your guidance counselor or call the Belmont and Harrison Career Centers today at 740-695-9130 or visit their website at www.bhccenters.com. Attention hunters, have you been unsuccessful? Have you been looking for that extra edge to give your hunt the success it deserves? Boy, I tell you, this is a real waste of time. We've been sitting in this creek for hours and haven't seen a deer. Man, I know what you mean. Boring. Maybe we're missing something. That's it. Introducing the all new Hunter's Gold formula. This spray will help you in no time. This medically fabricated formula will attract so many deer you won't know what to do. We definitely know what we're doing. Here it is, Hunter's Gold. 
Just a few dabs and the rest is history. The next time you're hunting, remember to take some hunter's gold. Because your next hunt is only as good as gold. Returning for the 14th year, Belmont County's Visual and Performing Arts Student Showcase again offered an opportunity for artists and performing arts students to demonstrate their talents before friends and family on Saturday. The showcase at Ohio University Eastern featured musical performance by students from third grade through high school. More than 70 performers looked to the stage and more than 80 artists contributed to the pieces hanging in the gallery. The St. Clairsville Singers started off with a bang. They finished runner-up at a Hurricane Red Hot Show Choir Championship on January 21st in Hurricane West Virginia. Now let's turn our attention to Zach Schneider for more on the story. Thank you, Caden. I'm here at St. Clairsville High School where Mr. Wayne Burke and his St. E. Singers lead the way as they go and take on other schools in the area. Um, so far we have been very successful. Uh, we got best stage here, best band. Uh, we got first runner up and beat a lot of class A and B schools. And I think we have a lot of potential. Well, we went down to Hurricane West Virginia. There were 14 choirs competing. And out of our division, we were class champions in class, uh, the third division, class C. And overall, you make the finals with all those groups, regardless of class. So we're going against schools of 2,000 kids, we're going against Morgantown, West Virginia, Hurricane, Hurricane West Virginia, Cobble Midland, schools that have four times the amount of kids that we do. And we're wa walking out with the first place, or first runner up, second overall out of the evening. So it was a great turnout. Uh, these guys are doing awesome. Our first one, we were class champions. So, so far in our division, we're two for two with two left. We're out on February 10th. We're headed back down to Huntington where Hurricane was. And uh, we're headed back down that way to the Cobble Invitational on the 10th. And uh, we hope to do really well there as well. With seven seniors leading the way, it is sure to be a great season with plenty of help from returning members and first year members. Uh, we're doing really good. Uh, first competition was a little rough, but the second one we got second place out everybody. We beat some pretty big schools out. So we're having a lot of success. Hopefully we'll get better. The next competition will be back down in Huntington for the Cobble Invitation on February 10th. This has been a WSTC News Report. Now back to you in the studio. College Credit Plus is a unique opportunity for students in grades 7 through 12 to earn high school and college credits at the same time. This can be done prior to their graduation from high school. Here's WSTC reporter Eric Balcar. Ohio University's Eastern Campus will host College Credit Plus Information Day on October 6th at Shannon Mall Theater at 6 p.m. Well, the most obvious way is that it pays for their education, and so they don't have to pay for those college credits out of their own pocket. Um, but beyond the money that they're saving, the way that it helps them is it gives them experience in a college environment with college classes prior to actually going to school. So they have that kind of a, a background. And... Um, I think probably on top of that, it shortens the amount of time that they have to go to school. So if they're going someplace and those credits transfer in or those are accepted into their program, and you know they could take some time off of how long it actually takes them to graduate from college so they get into their career sooner. Um, I guess there's probably other ways, but those are the main ways. It saves them money, gives them experience, and it shortens the amount of time that they, they have to go to school. Uh, well, for one, it's, it teaches you valuable skills that you'll need later in life, like organizational skills, study habits for college, and beyond that, it just gives you a leg up on everyone else because you already know what college is going to be like. And the most obvious benefit is that you save thousands of dollars in the long run because you could knock a whole semester off of your college, which, I mean, college costs tens of thousands of dollars, so you're really getting a f free education. College Credit Plus is beneficial to students who are truly college and career ready, um, and so that is probably the biggest deciding factor. It does allow the student the opportunity to earn both college credit and high school credit at the same time. However, um, students really need to 
take into consideration the courses that they're taking and how that is going to impact the rest of their life because they're starting their college transcript just as fast as they're starting their high school transcript in some cases, especially since the program has been open up to 7th through 12th graders. Um, so it is beneficial for those students who are our higher achieving students who are definitely going to put the time and effort into the college classes. It is not beneficial for the students who are okay with just getting a C because I still took a college class. And this has been a WSTC newscast. Now back to you. WSTC will continue after this short commercial break. Stay tuned for, more, for all the action. Super Bowl 51 and OVAC cheering. WSTC Sports. Are you ever weak and unable to do anything? Sleepy and lazy? Then try the brand new energy drink, Lightning Energy. Here, try this drink. Hey, this gives you a lot of energy, try it. It's only a dollar and it'll make you fast as late. Hey Stanley! Wake up son, you're at school! What are you, tired? Hey Stanley, try this, it'll make you feel so much better. Thanks Helga. I still don't feel anything. Sino, this drink is unbelievable. The transformation I've seen in Stanley is remarkable. He's alert, he's attentive, he's a whole new person. Sino, you gotta get some. Hello and welcome to WSTC Sports. I'm Austin Herman. And I'm Jennifer Mazguy. Let's now turn our attention to what's happening in the wild world of sports. First up on WSTC Sports, the Atlanta Falcons couldn't turn a fast start into a big finish. And New England's quarterback, Tom Brady, showed every bit of his big game experience. His Hall of Fame resume has been padded even more. Brady led the Patriots back from deficits of 21-0 and 28-3 as they roared back to win Super Bowl 51, 34-28 in the first overtime game in Super Bowl history. Entering Sunday, no team had won the Super Bowl after trailing by more than 10 points. Brady was named the game's MVP for the fourth time. This is an NFL record. Brady finished 43-62. for 62 the most attempts in Super Bowl history. He completed 466 passing yards and two touchdowns. It was the fifth Super Bowl win of Brady's career and he is the first to play in seven Super Bowls. The 26th annual OVAC cheering competition was held on Saturday 4th of February at Wheeling's West Banco Arena. WSTC reporter Sarah LaRuffa was on the location to bring you the story. I'm here at West Bank Arena as the St. Clairsville Red Devils go for their 10th consecutive OVAC championship. It feels great. So much hard work was put into this routine and there's no better feeling than winning. Um, it's pretty unexpected, but I think we knew that we all could do it. And I think that we pulled together on the last day and really worked as a team. 24 schools competed in the competition on Saturday, February 4th. 
How does it feel to win 10 OBA C's in a row? It feels amazing. It's great. The girls have worked really hard for this. Each year gets a little bit more nerve-wracking because we don't want it to be that first year that we don't win. So they work really hard. So it's an amazing feeling. The Red Devils capture their 10th consecutive and 13th overall OVAC championship. <laughs> this is WSTC reporter Sarah LaRuffo. Back to you. Well, that's all the time we have for WSTC News. Thanks for watching. Stay classy and have a great week. I can't. Regular. Regularly. Regular. Regularly. Regular. 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 Ow, you kicked me. I'm here at St. Cousin High School where we're. <laughs> high School where we're. Mr. 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 Regular. Regularly. Regular. Regular. Lee. Yes. Regularly. 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 It's like I stutter, like regularly. Just say those two words. Regularly. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It's 20 after. We got three Keep minutes. Let's go. Team Theater. Belmont. Co oh my god. <laughs> I like their like, colors. You like their colors? Mm -hmm. Did you watch the whole Super Bowl? Okay. No, I went to sleep. You went to sleep? Yeah. P U N X S U. Punks of Tony. Punks of Tawny. That's who the groundhog is. Virginia. Now let's turn to our now let's turn our attention to Zach Schneider for more on the story. I messed up. What about when Dylan that one time was up here with Brocky? Hello, welcome to WSTC News. Hello and welcome to another WSTC News. I'm Jacob Clark. You already messed up. I know because I couldn't like I forgot. Right there. Started from right there.